Hey there, Skywatchers. Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth here. Got a chance to do a little planet watching. Actually, you can find a neat constellation as well. Jupiter, the king of the solar system, has a date with the winged horse Pegasus. Uh, you want to look early in the week, west in the evening hours. Jupiter will be close to the horizon, shining brightly. You'll need a clear view of the horizon to catch it, but you can see with your naked eye uh, the great square of Pegasus. Those are four little stars that help make up the body of the horse. And then if you have a telescope, look just above and left of Jupiter, and you might be able to catch Neptune. So catch a couple of planets and a famous constellation there. Venus reaches a milestone. It'll be very high in the sky Wednesday morning, and it will be shining brightly in the southeastern sky uh, in the uh, mornings as well before sunrise. So what you want to do is look again Wednesday morning. It'll be very high in the sky for the brightest It'll look like a star, but it is actually the planet Venus. Just below and right of it is Mars, and off to the left of it and below Venus, you'll find Saturn and Mercury. You'll need a clear view of the horizon to catch that. But while you're at it, look for the moon as well. So we've got the moon and four of the naked eye planets out there in the morning hours on Wednesday morning. And speaking of the moon, the last quarter moon will be here uh, on Wednesday at uh, 532 in the evening. You're going to have to wait till the wee hours of the morning to catch that half moon, though, because moonrise is after midnight on Thursday morning. So look for that half moon as well. So a lot going on in the night sky this week. When we get a little clearing, get out there and enjoy it. I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth. Happy hunting.